right? So, thank you to whoever just sent a gift. I didn't see it. And the people say that therapist was giving out receipts. Mm hmm. That's what the people say. That that therapist was giving out receipts. So, like, I'm just trying to gather my faculties because. That the other week I supposed to have went to the spa, right? But I did tell y'all with who? Well, the spa date was supposed to have been with that therapist. Now, I don't know if all of y'all was here for that when I explained that, but if you wasn't, I'll break it down again. So, when the stuff happened with that therapist, I'm... Hold on, y'all. Okay, so remember when that therapist and Rose had got into it and allegedly Rose had said that therapist tried to kidnap her and when they were supposed to be going on a trip to the beach, right? Rose said that therapist was supposed to go down there and uh, hop on the ding -ling, as Kev would say. Get on somebody dingling, her best friend, her husband dingling, and she was trying to get pregnant. Right? Y'all remember that? Well, I felt bad for that therapist. So I reached out to that therapist. Let's go ahead and make that distinction. I reached out to that therapist, okay? And I said, hey, you know, I see you going through a lot or whatever. Do you want to just get together? And not y'all put FTK in the chat. Do you want to get together and like go to the spa or whatever? Just relax, have a good time, whatever. She said yes, right? Now, I thought that therapist lived in Atlanta. Apparently, she don't. Because she said something about, she told me when she was supposed to be getting into town. She was like, she had her room booked and all of this kind of stuff. I thought she lived in the Atlanta area. I was wrong, right? So, she said, yes, yeah, she wanted to go. So, I sent her a couple of options. She picked the spa that she wanted to go to, and she set the date, right? At first, she said that Saturday. I think that Saturday might have been the 29th. And I was okay with it. I was cool with it. But then later on, she changed it and said, let's go that Friday. Okay, cool. I don't have a problem with that. I'm on your time. I'm free. So she 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 chooses the spa. She chooses the time. She chooses the day. So that Friday gets here. Now I live with no traffic an hour and a half away from the spa. Right? So about 1230, because she said we was going to go at 2 o'clock. We were supposed to go to the spa, get massages, do all the saunas and all of that stuff. And then we were going to go eat after the spa. So 1230, I leave my house. 
Now, I'm on the phone talking. So, I think about 12.45, 1 o'clock, I get a message from her. And she's like, oh, I think I'm going to be a little bit late. I'm having brunch. But I've already ordered my food. So, again, it's about 1 o'clock. We're not supposed to meet until 2. You've already ordered your food. Okay. I'm thinking you in the area. So that's going to be cool. I said, that's fine. Cause I, it's saying that I'm not going to be there until about two o'clock. So, okay. I got to wait a few minutes. Fine. Cool. Whatever. Okay. Hold on. Let me do F1. Okay, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, she's at brunch. So we were supposed to go eat afterwards. You eat brunch, you're not going to want to go eat after um, after the, the spa. So I get to the area. Okay, so I get to the area and she sends me another message and she's like, um, I'm getting ready to pay for my food. Now, it's about maybe 15 minutes to two. She sends me a message and she says, I'm getting ready to pay for my food. And better yet, no, it's on this phone. Damn, I was going to say, I'll tell y'all what it is. But anyway, it was about 15 minutes to two. And she was like, um, GPS says I'm about 35 minutes away. And I'm about to pay for my food. I said, you know what? Cool. That, that's fine. I'm not making a big deal, right? It's not a big deal, right? So, I know she's not going to be hungry afterwards. So, I stop at Marco's Pizza and I get me a pizza. So, I got to wait for my pizza. I got to do all of the things, right? So, um, let me leave that open so I can see. So, I get my pizza and it's literally like around the corner from the spa. So I get my pizza and I go and I sit in the parking lot. So by that time, it's two o'clock. So I get my pizza. I go to the parking lot of the spa and I sit in my car and I eat. So I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. So about 2.30 rolls around and I'm sitting in my car. Right? I'm sitting in my car. So I sent her a message and I said, I'm going to go ahead and go in. Because it is, it's 2.30, right? I'm going to go ahead and go in. When you get here, message me. Once, once you get here, message me and I'll come find you. So I go in. Now at this spa, you pay... You have to pay to get in. Soon as you walk in, there's a check-in desk, right? At the check-in desk, you have to pay to get in. Because when you pay to get in, you have access to the pools. You have access to the saunas. You have access to, um, um, like, the TV room. You have access to the showers. You have access to all of that, right, To to the... the dining hall thing. Now, if you want massages and stuff like that, you have to pay extra. Now, we was going there for massages, right? So, I paid the money to get in, right? I paid the money to get in. 
So then they give you an outfit. You have to change clothes or whatever. I paid to get in. They gave me my clothes. I went to the locker room, got my little locker, all of that stuff. So I get in and I'm changing clothes. Thank y'all for the gifts. I change clothes. And I kid you not, as soon as I put the t-shirt on of the little outfit, that therapist sends me a message. And you know what? Let me screenshot the messages. I'm finna screenshot the messages. And then I'm gonna come back so that way I can tell y'all exactly how it went. Hold on, let me get my charger first of all. Let's do this first of all. Cause I don't want nobody to say Pedro telling no lie. I don't want So let's see if I can get them up here right quick. Um, okay. So, you can see the day before, uh, 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 you can see the day of, as a matter of fact, I said morning, 2 p.m. still okay, right? Because I realized that, what happened to the comments? Y'all cut the comments back on. They'll be all right. Um... I realize things can happen, okay? So I'm just double checking to make sure, right? I say morning, 2 p.m. still okay? She says, yep, 2 p.m. is perfect, morning. So at 1.13, and mind you, I left my house at, at 12.30, right? She says, it. so at 1.13, she messages me. And says, I may be a little behind too. I stopped to get brunch. I ordered already though. It says I'm 37 minutes away. I'm in Midtown. So this is at 113. 
And I said, I should be there right at two. Okay. So again, I'm not making a big deal out of it. So she says, okay, I'm about to pay. See, it don't, I can't, I hate that it don't give you the time on every single one now. Okay. Cause it was a while. It was like closer to two o'clock when she said, okay, I'm about to pay now on my way now. And I say, okay. And she says 23 minutes away. Right. 23 minutes away. So that was the first one. So let's get to the second one. Okay, so I'm showing previous messages so y'all can see that it is going in line, right? So nobody can't say I skipped nothing. Y'all see some of the previous messages? Then you'll see it. Okay, so she says I'm about to pay now, 23 minutes away. So I stop. Okay. Oh, it'll be all right. So they saying that you can do that, but I'm on I'm on the phone that I'm on. I mean that the message is on. It's fine. It'll be okay. So I stop and get pizza. About 10 minutes to two. I stop and get pizza. I sit in my car until 2.30. I think it was 2.35. And I said, oh, uh, uh, okay, I'm going on in. Just message me when you get here. That is about 2.30. Do y'all want me to go see if I can get the time stamps? Somebody, somebody send me a thing. A little doggy with the thing if you want me to go get the time stamp. Some of y'all saying no. Some of y'all saying yeah. Redhead said I'm good. Avery J say we believe you. Okay, they said no. Nah. Okay, y'all still need to hit me out there. Okay, so she says... OMG, I just got into a fender bender, shaking my head up. Now, as when she sent that, I had my phone sitting on top of my purse because I was changing clothes. I had not put the stuff in my locker yet. Like I said, I had just put my shirt on from the outfit that they give you. So I had the phone in my hand as soon as the message came through. And I said, are you okay? She never responded. At that point, there was no, I didn't know what was going on. I had already paid to get into the spa. I'd already spent the money. They don't give no refunds. So I just went on into the spa. And start going from sauna to sauna. Now, y'all saw me when I was in the cold sauna, right? At that time, she still had not messaged me back yet. I'm hopping from sauna to sauna. Okay? From sauna to sauna. She did not message me back. So then I messaged her again and I said, please let me know something. Now, I know she wasn't dead. Because she messaged me, right? But I didn't know if she had decided to go on to the hospital, the ambulance had got her. I didn't know if she had done got to fighting with the people with some road rage and they had done knocked her out and thrown her over in a ditch. Like, I didn't know what was going on. She did not respond. I immediately responded to her when she said... OMG, I just got into a fender bender. I immediately responded because my phone was right there. And she did not respond. So I think it might have been like an hour later. She says, yes, it was a small fender bender, but there is minor damage. And I say, okay, because again, my phone is in my hand because I'm carrying my phone with me from sauna to sauna. 
And I say, okay, a car can be fixed. Just glad you're okay. Okay, that's number one, number two, number three. All right. So you see where I said, okay, you know, glad everything, uh, a car can be fixed. Just glad you're okay. So she never says anything. So I'm expecting a, okay, I'm on the way or I don't feel good. I'm going back to the room or I can't drive the car. So I, I'm getting it told. I don't have a way to get that. I'm waiting on her to tell me something. If you coming or you not. But I don't want to keep saying stuff and feel like I'm bothering somebody. Y'all know me like that. I'm not going to keep talking to you and you not talking back. Because at that point, I feel like I'm bothering you. And I just don't do that. Right? So then at 5.03, now I've been in the spa for two and a half hours. And y'all see how much she said to me in two and a half hours. Right? Hold on. So at 5.03, I say, I hope everything is okay. I guess I'm going to head home. I stayed there for two and a half hours waiting on her. Waiting on her to say something. Right? So if you were... If you follow me when I was in Miami, I told y'all about my fingernails. I did not like that s, &S. The polish had, had peeled off. The top coat had peeled off the very next day after I got them done. And that morning, I had broke a nail cleaning up. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to go get a massage. I'm just going to go get my fingernails fixed. Right? Get get a new another polish or so something. So I went to Walmart around the corner and they happened to have a nail salon in there. So I stopped in there, got my nails done. Now, five, I left the spa about 5.30. Walmart is just around the corner. It Okay, it took me an hour and a half to get there. Then I spent another 30 minutes waiting on her in my car. Then I spent two and a half hours in the spa. Then I left. I left I left the spa at like 5.30. So it ended up being three hours in the spa then because I had to go change clothes and check out and all that kind of stuff. So I went over there and got my nails done. So at 7.24, I'm still sitting in the nail salon. And she messages me at 7.24 and says, Hey there, I am so sorry. Everything took an unnecessary amount of time and then my phone died. I am so disappointed I didn't make it. So after my nails got, I got through with my nails or whatever, got on the road and headed home. Then I sent her a sad face emoji because at that point, I don't know what to say, right? So she ain't talked to me since. She ain't talked to me since. Now, y'all remember Georgia Peach was on live last week and they was talking about how that therapist had went to Kale's birthday dinner, but she left talking about she had to go let out Mr. Carter. But she was going to come right back. And she never came back. Y'all remember that? So at that time, I think we was on live. Maybe. But either way, I went over there. And I asked them. So if y'all saw that therapist on Saturday. Because I think the dinner was on Saturday. I said, did she say anything about she had a wreck? They was like, no. And I think Barb said 
She didn't look like, you know, she had had no record, nothing like. She looked well put together. She looked like she was fine. She, you know, everything was good. We were in a Zoom. Oh, okay. I knew I was on something. And then I went over there. So I went over there and I was asking questions. I was like, no, we don't know nothing about no wreck. She ain't said nothing about no wreck. We ain't seen her in no wreck car. She ain't, none of that. She didn't have no bumps and lumps and bruises. No, none of that. She, nobody never said nothing about no wreck. And I was like, okay. Now somebody over there in the comments was saying that that therapist told us in the live she had a wreck. But I only saw one person say that. Right? I only saw one person say that. So, I was still on the fence on whether I truly thought that therapist had had a wreck. Now, I will say this. I'm going to apologize to Rosé. Right? I'm going to apologize to Rosé. Because I thought Rosé might have had something to do with her not showing up. Uh, That's not the one I want. This is the one. So, July the 2nd. Now, this is after we went over there on Peach Live. And I said I felt a certain kind of way about what happened, what did or did not take place. She cash at me. And she sent me a message. And the message says, Hey there, I wanted to apologize again about the spa. I really did feel awful and was on live that morning getting ready and going on and on about how excited I was. Didn't they say you 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 wasn't picking that outfit out to go to no spa. The people said you was talking about going to some kind of dinner or maybe even to brunch. You wasn't going on and on about going to no spa on the live. That ain't what the people told me. But anyway, when I looked down to text you 23 minutes, I bumped the person in front of me. No one was hurt, but the cosmetic damage was enough to need a police report. Also, I intentionally didn't tell Rosé about the spa because I didn't know if y'all got along or not. So kept the spa completely to myself. So you mean to tell me you told the people you was going to the spa but you didn't tell Rosé. And you thought Rosé wasn't going to find out. But allegedly you told the people on your live. That only... You know what? Never mind. I didn't know if y'all got along or not. So kept the spa completely to myself. Of course, I would love to try again, but I understand if you don't want to. My mods told me they were in your lives, and when you talked about it, you sounded excited, which makes me feel extra terrible. Again, I am extremely sorry. Now, I get it. I get it. You're, you're extremely sorry. But baby, you lied. You didn't have to lie to me. If you had changed your mind, and you didn't want to go to the spa with me. That's all you would have had to say. All you had to say was, you know what, Petty? I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to go to the spa no more. 
I'm just going to take a rain check and we can do, you know, something else later. And then just left it like that. But you not only wasted my time. India had had a wreck in my car that week before. I didn't know what was going to happen. I really didn't need to spend that money. And I told baby daddy that. I said, I don't need to spend the money, but I also don't want to let her down because I feel like she's been taken through the ringer. I feel bad for her. I feel like people be trying to use her and I don't want her to think that about this because I really am trying to be not a friend, but you get what I'm saying. I'm trying to be genuine with her. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I needed to be saving that money because I did not know what was going to happen with the car that India wrecked. And spoiler alert, my car is totaled. They sent the message yesterday and the car is totaled. So now Jakira don't have a car. India don't have a car because now she's not finna get one. I didn't need to be spending the money. I put had to put gas in that day. Okay. No, the Chrysler 300. It's totaled. Now I bought that car before COVID hit. So just imagine what the prices are for a new Chrysler 300 right now. I can't go get another car right now. Prices is too high. Okay? Prices is too high. But whatever. Again, I could have been at home saving that money. Okay? Could have been at home saving that money. But, again, thinking about therapists and how people have been trying to use her and stuff like that. I And, and obviously, she came from out of town. She spent money. I was taking it into account. Thank you, Avery J. I was taking her into account. Choosing her over me and what I got going on. Right? Right. So, today, I found out because I guess her and Rosé is going at it again. So, baby, they is just, they, they spilling the beans on themselves. Okay? They spilling the beans on themselves. So, it comes out today about that therapist and Rose and they text messages and allegedly it wasn't no damn wreck it wasn't no wreck mm -mm. wasn't no wreck wasn't no wreck at all that therapist lied, but Rose knew it. Let me see if I can find a screenshot. Hold on. So here is Dime Live today. That's Dime Live today, right? So, I don't know where Dime got the, got the screenshots from, but baby, there you have it. Okay. All right, y'all don't start no shit. So, Dime got the screenshots. And 
it looked like the screenshots hold on let me get this bead this other bead says what do you think now this is between okay so Dominique is therapist so this is between therapist and Rose so therapist says what do you think the catalyst was for that when well, I mean, it says just the damn app this shit got out of hand Okay, so then therapist says, what do you think the catalyst was for that after we have been non-responsive for over a week? Rose says, you canceling on Petty, lying about, talk about taking out Mr. Carter. People feel stood up by you. Lying about your car getting hit. Lying about your car getting hit. And she says, why would I think they would care about me not coming if they don't care about me? So she's saying they don't they really don't care about me. So why would it even matter that I, I wasn't coming? They don't they don't care about me. No way. That's what she was saying. That's what she was saying, right? So she says, and you knew about everything but petty. So I do need to apologize to Rose because I thought Rose may have been the reason that that therapist didn't show up. I thought maybe Rose told her, don't go. It's either her or me, or she said, let's go do something so that that therapist wouldn't, wouldn't go, okay? So, that's what, that, that's what my thought was, okay? So, I do owe Rose an apology because that was clearly not the case she says but you knew everything you knew about everything but petty i intentionally withheld that hold on let's get the next one uh excuse me oh man dime i'm sorry i said i wasn't gonna be burping hold on is that the first one okay Why would you think they would care about me not coming if they don't care about me? And you knew about everything but petty. I intentionally withheld that. So if it, if it would, what? So if what happened happened, you would be genuinely disconnected. I don't understand it. No one knew about the wreck but you. So I'm taking that to mean nobody knew that the wreck was fake. Except Rosé. Rosé was the only one that knew that there was really no wreck. Because again, didn't Rosé say that they was together some of the weekend? Not the whole weekend. So Rosé would have seen her car, right? Rosé would have seen her car. So, and it says, and we discussed me leaving the birthday dinner early and you were okay with my plan. So, Rose knew she was not going. I mean, that she was going, but she wasn't going to stay. 
So Rose knew that was that was a plan beforehand. She never intended to stay down to the birthday party. Okay. And Rose knew it. And she said, uh, just like you were okay with the battle plan. I'm assuming they talking about whatever battle that was that the people been talking about with heartbreaker or something like that. That that looked like it was some kind of setup or something to that effect. Right? And just like you were okay with me pushing the battle plan. Rose, what do y'all really got going on over there? Yeah, y'all don't need to be together. Y'all is two manipulative people that don't know how to respect other people. Both of y'all playing in people's face. It's not just that therapist. You have been participating as well in all of this bullshit. Yes, they both are. Rose can't just say, oh, that's that therapist doing that stuff. Because you knowing that she doing stuff and you ain't saying nothing. Obviously, you going along with it. You knew, you knew that lady didn't have no wreck and you ain't said nothing. You kept it hush. You kept it hush. I'm going to stop right here. I really don't care about the rest of that. I really don't care about the rest of that. My thing is, why would you do that? Out of all people, you think you had to lie to me about going to the spa? Of, of all the people, Well, girl, this was she. This why she said she lied to you. I don't know if everybody else was in there, but I was in there. She said that it was because anytime Rose told her that she could spend time with her, she said she'll brush off anybody and she didn't give a fuck who it was, including you. So that's why the lie came. And she said, that's not what happened. And Rose said, you a motherfucking lie. That is what happened. And they just start arguing on dying panel. So everything is confusion because somebody's lying. And it ain't me. Somebody, and then and then the therapist said, if it ain't no receipts, her exact words fucked me up because she sounded like a lying nigga. She said, if it ain't no receipts, it didn't happen. <laughs> she said, yeah. she said, if it ain't no receipts. See, blue collar wipes, you, you heard it too, didn't you? She said, if it ain't no receipts, if you can't show her no screenshots, and if you can't show her a recorded conversation, that mean it never happened. Therapist, you ain't shit. I said, you sound like a lying man that got caught cheating on his wife. She said... So are you saying that Candy asked her, did she just not want to walk away? She said, did I not want to walk away? Like she playing games. Like she over there in dying live. Laugh just said it. Laugh got down. She said, cause you over here playing these people face. Like she, she, she just playing. She keep, she keep playing word games. Well, they both, yeah. they, they telling for for somebody not to have been intimate, like they both saying they ain't been intimate. And they both lying. They both saying they haven't been intimate, but for you to, like Ty Lee said, you ain't even smelt that thing and you acting like this. They lying. I don't care what, like you said, they, they done, they been sniffing. They been sniffing. And at the end of the day, Every time, and then she got up there and said, "If if she didn't tell y'all, I talked about y'all. I'm not answering y'all questions. So if she, if Rose didn't tell whoever was on the panel that she talked about her, that that the therapist said fucked up stuff, she wasn't answering their questions. 
And so she did. Dime asked us. She said she didn't talk about Dime. Trina asked us some stuff and she told the truth. She said, yeah, I sent her my our text thread. I mean, she was honest but about that. But uh, she over there playing games because she acting like. So they over there right now. Yeah, she's acting like. They've been over there about four hours. She waited in the in the comments for two hours because Rose didn't want to be on the panel with her. And then finally, laugh talk Rose. She was like, just don't say nothing to her. And then she came up and yeah. But they both in dying live. They both in her live right now. And it's still the semantics, it's the wordplay. You trying to make she you she even tried to make her jealous with Kells. I'm too I'm too old for you. I need a woman my age like Kells. She really likes me. So then they asking her, so you thought Kells really liked you? Do y'all think that the only way somebody could like somebody is romantically? Like, girl, what did you mean? Like you you playing games. Something wrong with her. Um I'm convinced. Yeah, she, she's the drama. Am I the drama? Yeah, she's the It's It's both of them, though. Like everybody in the comments saying, I don't care who recording, I don't care. I think both of them telling us what they want us to know and they leaving out stuff. But she definitely I just says don't, that she lied I just to don't you. like the fact that I got pulled into it when I was just trying to you know, show empathy and sympathy to somebody that I thought people was taking advantage of when it looked like she the one that's been taking advantage of people too. Yeah, taking she advantage definitely. of people um sympathy, taking advantage of people's feelings. When um, she said when she said it Rose said it, it don't matter who she had plans with. If it was a chance for her to see me, she was gonna cancel the plans. That's what she said therapist told her. And the therapist was up there when she said it. So at the end of the day, again, it's like you y'all playing these word games. Well, did I say that? Well, did I do that? Well, I didn't say that, and I didn't mean it like that. Like, girl, come on. How other way was you talking about Kells like you a lot? And so if you ask me, hey Kim, I saw Timmy, and and Timmy, oh yeah, girl, Timmy liked me a lot. I ain't telling you Timmy liked me a lot like a friend, right? I'm telling you, Timmy, like me, like Timmy want to be my boyfriend. I don't like it. It's, 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 a, it's a whole lot of lot of going on. And the math, they math it. But you can listen to Dime Live because they've been over there about four hours. They're probably going to be over there four more. Because they're allowing people on the panel to ask them both questions. Yeah, I think they was bumping coochies too. Yeah, they was bumping. <laughs> I think they was bumping coochies too. Well, honey, let them I tell it. They ain't bumping no And then somebody asked her, "Did Rose ever watch her?" Because she said, "I've I've learned how to pleasure myself." Oh Lord. And two dollar asked her, "Did Rose ever watch?" And she she was like, "No, no." We've never done anything like that. And Rose was like, uh uh. I'm just like, something ain't right. So so somebody lying. Somebody lying. Listen. Somebody lying. All I know is I'm done. Like, I'm not trying to I'm not reaching out to nobody no more. I'm not showing sympathy or empathy to nobody no more because these bitches is weird. I know Listen. I don't usually talk like that or whatever but these these bitches is weird but when she said if you can't produce a recorded phone call or text messages it never happened she tried to say that everything rose was saying that the therapist said about people like you dime and whoever else is really what rose was saying about people and rose was like you lying and that's when she was like show me a receipt she said she said, play me a recorded call or a text message. And everybody was like, you know, she can't do that because she just said she don't have nothing. She said, well, it never happened then. <laughs> like, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the one to sit up and be playing like that. Like, you. Well, Lady Libra, I she's over in Dimes Live and she definitely mentioned the spa and everything. Like, 
they talking about it all because they they trying to air each other out it's they mad day thank they, y'all thank you for the order it's they mad day it's they mad day but it ain't just them that was affected like i know a lot of people might be saying petty where you just you just taking it too far no i'm actually not i'm actually not because again i had a lot of stuff going on i had a lot of stuff going on and to think that i went against my better judgment went and spent money i felt like i should have been saving because india had already had that car wreck in my car i did not know what the situation was going to be if it was going to be total i knew i had a high deductible right so if it was going to get fixed i would have had to come out the pocket for that deductible right so i needed to be saving that money True. but i True. still went in yeah. consideration for her you typed it in the comments and i agree she definitely owe you a cash app she definitely owes you he did cash at me on july the second yeah she definitely owe you that money back she definitely she definitely owe you that money back because that's that's ridiculous like if you i mean you could have just been like some booty cat called i need to go do something else like i don't know because that's what i would have said like Girl, she could have said anything and and because I would not have been mad if she had if when I asked her that morning if two o'clock was still good if she would have said you know what something came up I'm not gonna be able to make it I wouldn't have even been mad right I wouldn't have even been mad I just feel like they're not telling it's like like laugh said it's pieces we missing we it's it's like it's we got a puzzle but we missing some intricate pieces y'all not saying everything y'all not saying every y'all saying little stuff and y'all get right up to the point and then y'all shut it down and we talking about something else they not saying they not saying everything because she's saying they were actively dating and Rose is saying they were not, they were talking. And then she said, well, why would you call me and say we're back actively dating? And I'm just like, well, actively dating is like going out and dating and sexing and everything. So are y'all actively dating or not? I think it's semantics. Yep. It's tomato, tomato. At the end of the day, y'all hoes been playing in people's face. Part black period. It don't matter if y'all was punching or not. The point of the matter is y'all been playing in people's face and y'all been in on it with each other. It's at the end of the day, you ain't got the I mean, it's 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 TikTok. Like, why you got a lot? First of all, we wouldn't even know y'all business if y'all didn't bring it here. So you can't get mad that people got all these questions. And then you can't come up on the panel and say, well, I'm not going to answer that. I don't because I didn't say anything about you and I'm not going to talk to you. Like, so what you up here for? They want to ask you questions because apparently she went on a five hour raid tirade about Rose. So it's just they like they know that's... what they're doing. They know if they go up in the live, people going to be asking them questions. So you saying real dumb to say you yeah, don't want to talk about questions. it. Let's Keep and your Rose, ass off the app then. And $2 said it. Rose sat up here and answered all kind of questions. And that's not fair for her to come up here and say what she is and what she ain't going to do. And Rose answered everything, whether the answer was bad or good. She was like, the fact that I ain't even had no beef with Petty, you tried to make it seem like I didn't like Petty. And I never told you that. She was like, so you could have told me about going to the thing, to the spa with Petty. Like, why did you think you couldn't tell me? Like she was up there answering all kinds of questions. And that girl came up there and was like, I'm not answering no questions. She answered laugh and she answered Trina. She left. She came back. She left. She came back. Now she's answering other people on the panel. But she's half ass answering. She's giving like smart comments. And it's not really. It's not really. Yeah. Good. yeah. No. She's still playing in people's face, pretty much. Yeah, she's just playing in their face. Because Candy asked her a simple question. At what point 
did she walk, try, did, it was it like you tried to walk away from her and you just didn't want to walk away? She like, well, why are you saying it like that? It's like you believe in what she's saying. She like, I just asked you a question. Like she, she, he called me and everybody in the comments like, you're lying. Cause when, when some, Trina said, were well, you talking about me? She goes, um, um, <laughs> everybody like, yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah, when you gotta say, um, um, if you gotta, do, if you gotta do all of that, healthy, you know the answer. Um, Stop. And, and Rose said, Trina, you know I don't like you. You know I don't fuck with you. She said, but I could tell you what I said about you. And I said that you was gonna run away supporters because you don't tell the truth. She's like, I tell you what I said about you. She said, even if I don't like you, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And she said that she told her not to expose the whole medicine thing. Oh, well, she was the one that called the pharmacy with you on the phone. And you talk like that's what she's doing. She called the she Rose called, not me, but you was on the phone talking to the pharmacist. It's a semantic kind of thing she doing. Definitely semantics. The yeller. Be, well, I believe I don't believe neither one of them because I think they leaving out stuff, Nanny. Honestly, I feel like they telling they parts that they want people to know because we all assuming that they bump coochies. But I bet ninety five percent of people in this live and that live and anywhere else think they bumped uglies. Because why would you act yeah. like that? Because they carrying on too bad. They carrying on too bad for two women that just is, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, y'all got some real feelings involved. Oh, yeah. She was in the comments coaching her talking about and don't and we're not answering any more questions. Don't be quick. Take one. Oh, Lord. So, Danny, oh, you better be glad I ain't a, my mom. I like, I'll meet you. For five seconds. <laughs> and I don't know why she over there. Is she going to give Trina a place to stay? Why she over there trying to coach somebody. Coach that hoe how to get a place to stay. And don't get put out. Then Laugh was like, why would you have the towel? She was like, no, it wasn't like that. And then <laughs> Rose said the towel had a smell. <laughs> I'm sick of these bitches. <laughs> she said, she said the towel had a smell. And Dime, I, I commend Dime. Dime does not want people over talking each other. She does not want nobody feeling like they getting piled on. She don't want the comments disrespecting the panel. And she don't want the panel. And she, she is really like a good host over there. Like no cap. Cause she been keeping it reined in. Like you go ask two questions, you ask two questions, and she keep it, and they've been doing good. So it's it's like she really is hosting a good live. But when you got two people sitting up here, and one look like they telling the truth, and the other one look like they just lying, playing in everybody's face, it's like y'all been doing this for four hours. It's eight thirty two my time. I've been watching y'all fold clothes for the last three hours. Bottom of the line, when it all said and done, they have been playing in everybody's face together. Yep. Yeah. That's it. It's just they've been playing in everybody's face together. It's just at the end of the day. If you could tell this girl that you know you too old to be trying to deal with her, why was you even trying to like her? You just said out yourself, you I'm too old for you. Like, if you know you too old for her, then move around. But you like, oh, we were actively dating and and Rose was like, we were talking about a situation. It wasn't like that. That's not what you said. It's just, it's like you said, it's the semantic. I mean, Rose, but I don't think Rose probably ain't told that lady that. This probably that girl first time hearing that they not dating. I don't think it's a skit. I just think that whatever game they was playing, they ain't playing it no more. So now it's let me throw you under the bus first. I don't think it's a shit at all. I think they know exactly what they're doing. 
Yes, they know what they doing. Ain't neither one of them slow. Ain't neither one of them slow. Because if it was a skit, it is it, it comes down to y'all or y'all, whatever y'all had going on and whatever, like she's like Rose said, she didn't know that it was a family trip with the trip with the friend. And she told her, well, her friend had her own place and she wanted to get them their own place so they could be alone. And it was a one bedroom and yada, yada, yada. Well, Rose was like, I didn't know none of that. And so after the fact, she told me, she was like, I didn't invite myself. She invited me. So it's just like, it's just the word. It's just, they, they keep playing. They keep playing. And Absolutely. The best. Y'all ain't fin- I'm finna get off of here because y'all ain't finna keep sitting here playing in my face. Because like Lav said, ain't no way you sitting on the phone listening to her talk about all these people and you not saying nothing. Right. She ain't talking to herself because I, I ain't never called nobody to talk shit and they don't say nothing. I'm calling you because I know you're going to talk shit with me. Yeah. And like and, and and like she asked two dollars. So you telling me you ain't never sat on the phone. So you just sat on the phone with somebody and they ain't never talked. And you just sat. Hell no. Thank if you I, for the if order. I, I'm call, if I call my friend and talk about a motherfucker, you best believe we talking it together. Boom. We talking it together. I call Patty all the time to talk about you bitches. No, I'm just not. <laughs> <laughs> and if you did, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking with you, shit. Yeah, it's just it's it's just what friends do. So there's no way that you sat on this phone conversation and you said nothing about nobody. No, now come on now. No way. Come on now. You can't expect us to believe that. And that's well, the part I think. Do. That's the part I think where what, what Shay is saying and live. That's what I think makes people think it's a skit because y'all doing stuff like that. You can't, y'all can't keep, just say what it was. We fucked around. I didn't like her like she liked me. And that was that. She tried to come back. I tried it one more time and I still didn't like her like that. And why you just can't say that? Why you just can't say that? A very good question. She liked me more than I liked her. Well, I and ain't wanted, nothing wrong with it because it happens every day. I just wanted her for her little coin. How many women date an ugly man or a fat man or a man they not interested in too because of some money? It happens all the time. Every so if that's day. what you was doing, just be real and say that's what you was doing. They going to sizzle when <laughs> These comments, y'all people, yeah, ooh, the comment cousins be cutting up. But it's, it's, they probably still over there and still going playing Ring Around the Rosie and ain't nobody telling nobody nothing. Well, I know that therapist is not no innocent bystander. I was feeling bad for therapist and was trying to be a genuine person to her and to show her not everybody wants you for your money it is some genuine people out here that you know just want to see you happy they want you to do well they want you to be around people that ain't trying to use you and that's what i get done got me damn fussed by baby daddy Why Cause see, I told you, Uncle you can't Baby be trying Daddy to be friends with out. every damn body. Uncle Baby Daddy done fussed you out. Yeah, he fussed me out. When Aww. I told him that she stood me up. See, yeah, I told you. She needs to send an extra hundred. I told your ass, you can't be trying to damn save every, every damn body. Oh, Uncle Baby Daddy done went off. Yeah, she got to send an extra hundred for that. Uncle Baby Daddy don't be going off now, lady. You done got this man fussed. Right. Yeah, it's... it's... Because I was gone all damn day. He saw when I had got up to get dressed and all of this kind of stuff and did nothing that should have been done all day long. I could have been making cups for my event event that Saturday. I could have been doing a whole lot of stuff. Jakira had came home that Friday. I missed her. So it was a lot of stuff that I could have been doing, and he knew that. Yeah. That's, that's, so that's, 
That's pretty messed up. I will. Now that's wrong. It's, it's it's wrong all the way around, and I hate that that happened. But I don't know what this for. But yeah, so yeah, she got me got me damn fussed. You at least now you know, and. You tried, and that's all. I mean, you know, like you said, you were trying to be a good person. But, and, and so, hey, people really are out here that are nice. We ain't, everybody don't want you for whatever you think other people want you for. She messed up, she messed up a potentially good associate by doing that. My thing is for Rose to say that she didn't know nothing about me. So she can't even blame that on Rose to say, well, Rose said that she was um going to spend time with me. So that's why I didn't show up. You didn't even tell Rose you was going nowhere with me. So you can't even use that as an excuse. Nope. You did that all by yourself. You concocted the plan. All by yourself. It was you, therapist. You not innocent. You not that little doe in the headlights that everybody think you are. And then to say a car accident, like, you could have said anything. Why did you say that? And then got on live. And when you was on Peaching Them Live, I forgot who live you was in and you was talking about it. She was live at the same time. And she like, I got into an accident. Like, you was pushing this accident whole time. Girl, you didn't. You wasn't in no damn accident. Your ass was damn lying the whole time. But trying to trying to make it like I'm just crazy or I'm just trying to spin a narrative. Yeah. It's 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 that's it. That shit crazy. I hope listen, y'all ladies don't don't y'all be out here doing this stuff for these men not falling out. With everybody, cause you ain't even smelt this balls. Good God, you ain't even get none. You could at least. But the, th but the thing is, Kim, though, it wasn't even necessary. It wasn't. It wasn't even necessary. It wasn't. It she could have just been like something. Came I changed with. my mind. Thank you. She could have just said, "I changed my mind." <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, it, all right. I don't think I want to go. Well, she put it on her mama. <laughs> Rose put it on her mama that she ain't did nothing with that lady. So. I don't, I don't know, know if I believe it. I don't know. Because y'all hoes be lying. This and can't be magical. You can't be trusty. Not even with the little things. Yeah, I feel. I thought she really did get into, but like somebody just said, now she gonna really get into an accident because she cried wolf about an accident. You can't be doing stuff like that, man. I'd rather you just say you don't wanna. That's what I'm saying. Her conversation. Let me tell you something though, Cherish. I got brothers. I got cousins. You know, I'm sure some of y'all got brothers and cousins and friends that's male. Some people mouth game, they mouthpiece, they spit that game to make a motherfucker feel like they in love. I'm telling you, I done seen it. Sometimes you ain't got to do nothing to nobody. It's that talk because you talking to them like nobody's ever talked to them. You, just, you know what I'm saying? So it could have been her bros. They might got game. We know Rose know how to talk. We hear it every day. And she can talk all day. Yeah, somebody so, asked her about her mama, but I don't think she never answered it. Somebody said that her mama was her mama involved, something like that. But I don't think she answered the question. And if she did, I didn't hear it. It's <laughs> it's it's just it's too it's like you don't have to lie to kick it. That's all I'm saying. If you didn't well, want to, you ain't got to lie not to kick it. Not to kick it. You could have just said, "Hey, something came up. I ain't gonna be able to make it." No hard feelings. I could have stayed at home. But the fact that I wasted gas and time, I could have been doing other stuff. Yeah, I got to I got Oh, it's the, it's the fact that I was worried about you. Yeah. 
and, and you no, wasn't responding. Right. And you probably was genuinely worried. Y'all know I be acting like everybody, mama. I be worried about everybody. Right. And for and for her just to say, oh, I had a wreck. Why would I not be worried? Like yeah that that's and that's it and then the, for you to say you had a wreck and then hours go by and i don't hear from you so i really think it's something really bad happened to you holes ain't shit i just i don't know i don't i don't know because i'm if it was me and i don't want to come i just i ain't gonna lie though y'all i'll be throwing my husband under the bus all the time i ain't gonna even cap <laughs> But you don't have nobody going nowhere. No. Nah. You already know you ain't finna show up. No, nah, I don't I don't do that, but I'll be like, girl, Jay tripping. I ain't I ain't coming. Like he'll be like, oh hell no. Nah. You don't have people think I'm in here holding you hostage and shit. He be getting mad. <laughs> but if, but but the thing is, like I said, you don't have nobody going nowhere. Mm -mm. Spending money. I tell the lie before. Time. Look, I tell the lie before we get that far. So you don't even have to leave the house. I tell the lie so you don't even gotta go. At least you you give him that much respect. Yeah. I just I do. I be throwing him under the bus all the time. Cause if I don't, I just be like, oh, I don't want to hurt their feelings. And I just be like, oh, let me say it's it's him. <laughs> And he ain't even like that. But hey, you know, people do what they do, man. And I don't know why she did that to you. Or all people, you was a good, like I said, that you messed up a good associate. That could have been somebody that, you know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's just, it's, and you too old for that. You forty. What you doing? Yeah, she too old for that. It's cute, ain't it? Oh, that is cute. Okay, I'm doing something to put on the website. So I know I want that one. I will try to go in there and get that cup, and the cup I wanted was sold out. The coffee cup. Which cup? Oh, yeah. Put that thing back up there again, Patty. So I can show Cameron. Look. What? What thing? That uh, keychain. Look. Well, that's pretty. It's cute. Tell her what you think about that body. Is it gone? It's working. The body butter. The one that she sent you. No. She love that stuff. You hear me? She better. She better be using it. it do she? I be like, girl, what's that? She be like, that's that's what Miss Peggy sent me. <laughs> she better be using it. She used everything. That cup. She got so much stuff. But yeah, she. I hate she did you like that, dog. Cause you ain't you ain't that type of person. She ain't have to do. She ain't have to thug you like that. She could just say, "Bitch, I don't want to go nowhere with you." Right, and I I wouldn't even have been yeah, mad. I don't care if you got the coffee cup. I ain't. I wouldn't have. I was on that, and I said, "Damn, the coffee cup sold out." I could make I my iced coffee in that cup. I would have respected her. If she would have just said, I, I don't want to go. No, thank yeah. you. Just, just keep it gangster, man. And, and that ain't just her. Everybody on here. Man, just keep it gangster, man. If you a hoe, be a good hoe. If you a pimp, be a good pimp. Shut up, fool. If you fat, be a jolly fat person. Like, come on. You ain't got to lie, man. It's TikTok. It's TikTok. Exactly. It's, it's TikTok. It's TikTok. You ain't got to do all that. It's, it's it's not that deep. It's really not. Everybody on here makes stuff way harder than it needs to be. Don't have to be that hard. It really don't. I'm so, I'm talking about today. People in these five hour lives have driven me. I'm so stressed out. I gotta go smoke now, y'all. And I don't smoke and I don't drink like that unless I'm on vacation. But I feel like I do need something. Girl, you need a cup of. Um, a Moscato. If you live, if they got a total wine in anybody's area, yes. I was gonna say, I know you're not asking me. I know, not you. Everybody, but Petty, if it's a total wine in y'all's area, 
go there and ask for this Moscato called Bug Juice. I promise you, you will put a straw in the bottle and drink the whole bottle. It is so amazingly great. That's my little tidbit for y'all. Am I from Michigan? Maine, no, I am not from Michigan. Not Maine. Maine, I'm from Tennessee, Maine. I ain't from Michigan. It is sweet. It is not dry. It is a Moscato. So it's like fizzy. It's got fizzy pop bubbles. And it's a black bottle with a butterfly like it's flying up the bottle. You see the little dots. It's very, very good. It is very, like I drunk the whole bottle. Like it is so good. Nah, man, I ain't from Detroit. And all my people from Detroit be like, what up though? No, I ain't from Detroit. I'm actually from St. Louis, Missouri. And I reside in Tennessee. Daddy, shut up. You found it? Very good. Get it. Get it, Diamond Jenny. I'm telling you, girl, you're going to put a straw in that thing and suck it up. It's so good. I'm going to go there tomorrow and buy me four more bottles. Ooh. It's not bugs. Yeah, it's good. If you like Moscato, if you like, I don't like dry wine, so I would never tell somebody get like, yeah, Moscato and that stuff. Yep, it's good. It's really good. Y'all gonna like it. Tell me what y'all think after y'all get it. Cause that's one of my go-tos. That and the new uh, Cayman Jacks, the summer sweet heat edition. Those are on our rotation list in our refrigerator as well. Now, how do we get to be on a liberal live? I don't know, girl. Yeah, they got a pink one, too. It's starting to sound like, ooh. Yellow yeah, boy, this is how not an AA meeting. How do we get to be on liquor pop? Because the people, we need a drink after all of this stuff. You say you don't smoke, so I got to get you a drink. Something. Because, you know, if you smoked, I'd be like, girl, listen, I got a lighter right here. Not a, shut up, Kim. <laughs> and total wine is called Bug Juice. So Google Bug Juice Moscato, and it might be called something else. But I know when I buy it, when I use with it, yeah, it's called Bug Juice. I'm just saying I got a lighter right here for you, friend. So let me show y'all what I got going on. Okay. My oh, room wow. is a mess. Y'all know that I had to go from the front. What happened to Kim? She just dropped. Um, From the big area in the front to this office back here. So I'm trying to get my glitter together. So, okay. So I did this board which I need to order a few more things. Um, they come in a pack of eight, I think. So I need to order one more pack and then I'll have room to put the glitters there. And then I repurpose this shelf and I can line up the rest. It should be the rest of my glitters. I should be able to line them up up here. So I'm finna put them in containers while we talk. Um, I'm going to get some work done. What time is it? How much time we got left? Oh, bitch, it's almost 10 o'clock. We ain't got about 10 more minutes. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. So, um, I'm waiting for my resin to get here so that I can finish some cups that I've already started. And then I can show those to y'all and try to get some of those sold. Get them sold. I will make more. That's how that works. So, yeah, I got a couple of techniques I want to try. Um, I've got, I think y'all already bought out the body butters. Because I restocked body butters today and I didn't say nothing. 
But I think y'all was y'all set up the notifications. I think y'all set up notifications. And the ones that got the notifications went on ahead and did what they needed to do. Um tomorrow we have to go out of state to sign paperwork for the car for it being totaled out. We gotta go sign paperwork for that. So we're gonna be gone pretty much all afternoon. Um, so, and then Thursday, we have that meeting with the attorney for the stuff about the house. So, I probably, I probably, I won't even be up here tomorrow, so I won't make none tomorrow. I might, no, I'm not even going to say I'm going to come up here Thursday and make none. It's probably going to be Friday before I can get some more made. Um, Y'all is, I didn't even get, I didn't even get the new fragrance out yet. Um, Ashane asked me to do baby powder. So I'll try to get that done Friday. Um, I have a bottle of peaches and cream Moscato. I only bought it because the bottle. I don't drink. Yeah, boy, you silly. But it do sound good, though. It sounds like it tastes real good. I like sweet stuff. Um, I want y'all to see this glitter. This is so pretty. Come on. I know you can fit in there. Get the rest of it little bit on in there. Y'all look at this. That is so freaking pretty. It's just so much going on, y'all. And I think that's another reason why I'm a little bit uh, pissy with that therapist. Because I got a lot of shit going on and I took time and consideration for people. Maybe I just should stop caring about people and stop caring about what they got going on and not wanting to make them feel like, you know what I'm saying, they not worth the effort or they not, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I just need to worry about myself because the same shit happened with Bella. She gonna sit on this, sit up there and tell that lie on me that I was trying to take over her platform when anybody that knows before I even went live with the little court show idea, I specifically said I did not want to conflict with Bella's show. That's one of the reasons why I chose Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock because nobody wasn't doing nothing. I specifically took her and her platform, her show, into consideration for her to sit up there and blatantly, knowingly lie on me. That's that's what gets that's what make it get on your nerve even worse. When you know, when you know that you really did consider the people. You know you really truly considered the people. Silver bullet. Do I got a silver bullet up there? Alpine. No, I don't. When you know that you consider these people and they still turn around and shit on you. That's why people don't fool with people.
So therapist, you ain't got to worry about me. You ain't got to worry about motherfucking me. I see for myself, you not that little innocent sheep. Everybody ain't trying to take advantage of you because you playing a part in it too. You playing along right along with Rose. You plotting and she planning. Both of y'all is in cahoots. So... So y'all remember that next time. Y'all want to feel sorry for somebody. I ain't even going to say just her. I think that's the same thing as that. I ain't even going to say just her. I'm not. Light Lake. It's not on the board. What's up, Courtney? We finna get ready to get off, honey. We finna get ready to get off. You know, bag up the rest of what I think I'm going to use. Not bag it up, but bottle it up. And then I'm gonna put these boxes back on the shelf in there. And I'm gonna call it a night. So what else been going on? Oh, so I needed to tell y'all, good old time is going live Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Somebody came into Nosey's Live today and said that good old time was going live at 9 o'clock. That good old time was going live at 9 o'clock. I talked to her and I said... I'm in confusion because I talked to her this morning at 10 o'clock. I talked to her this morning at 10 o'clock. And she said that she was going live Friday at 8 p.m. She sent me the, um, the flyer. She's made a flyer for it. And she's going to allow me to come on her live instead of her coming over here and me asking her questions. She wants to do it on her own platform. Okay. She wants to do it on her own platform where she can control the environment. She don't want to have to worry about somebody being let up. And I, and I get it because the other day when she was on my live, I let some people up that had already said disparaging stuff about her. Hey, Miss Nature, her and her spouse. I didn't know, so I let them up, right? So I get it when she said, I wanna have it on my own platform so I can control the space. So that is what we're doing Friday. 8 p.m. Eastern, good old time is going live. I will post a flyer. Um, she's going live. I will be over there. Uh, 
Um, so if y'all have some questions that y'all think that I should ask or y'all want me to ask, please send me, you can send me a message over on IG. You can send me a message on IG. Yeah, I sent all the packages out today that I had ready. So. <sighs> well, I could have done one more. Y'all hold on. Let's see. Everybody say ho v uh, uh, is it O-V ho. on the board. I don't think I see this blue. Mm, I got enough pink, Donna. Do I have this color on the board? Yeah, it looks like I do. It looks like this the Aqua 203. Okay, yeah, we can do this one. And then we're gonna be done. Let me do it over this trash box. Ooh, I'm glad I did. Cause I am making a complete mess. Y'all hold on. It ain't pulling right. I don't like that. Y'all be careful out there in them streets. I'm trying to tell you. These people is treacherous. Is Rose them still over that line? Anybody know? Okay. Oh, they done. They done lying for the night. Dude, I'm going to bed after this. My fever is high enough. I have cold washcloth on. Feeling better because that's not good to not be feeling good. I hope you get the feeling better. A little distraction over here because I'm not going out that way. Um, I'll put them on this shelf. It's been gross. Oh, I'm so sorry. Poor thing. Silver bullet. Let's put these two together because these two, them two is Mickey Mouse. Um, where the one that I made it today? Let me show y'all this and then I'm going to let y'all go. So this is one that I did today. It's got all different color um, glitter in it. It's got pink, yellow, blue. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like seashells. And I did it in a light, a very light blue liquid. It's very, very light. So it's kind of like, Little Mermaid, kind of like it's really, really pretty. I'm trying to decide if I'm um 
if I'm going to put some kind of picture on it. I don't know. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, let me get out of here. I got my glitters up for tonight. I think I've put in enough work. So, yeah. Let me get up out of here. I'm going to see y'all later. If y'all be out in the streets, um, be careful. Because hoes be lying. Please don't get caught up like me. You out here be worried about other people. Be out here, you know what I'm saying? Thinking about other people. And the people don't be thinking about you. So, yeah. Y'all yeah, be safe out here in these streets. Uh, I'm going to see y'all later. Um. Uh, don't be out here windmilling. Just be out here being nosy. So you can bring it back and we can talk about it. And I'll see y'all later.